Happy Friday, folks! It's Antar, and I am back with a new OU battle. Uh, my opponent today is Sibixi from Smogon. I'm not sure if he has a YouTube channel, but I don't think he does. So anyway, um, looking at his team, uh, I decide I'm not actually going to lead off with my Taunting Whimsicott, as I almost always do. And instead, I'm going to lead off with... Um, my Rotom Heat form, because I was hoping that he would send out this Braylon, so I'm like, alright, I can just take him out, he's probably gonna switch, but whatever, no one's gonna like getting a Specs Overheat. But he outspeeds me, I'm like, what the heck happened there? And I, I looked it up, um, and uh, the, what, the only solution is that this guy is Scarfed. So I'm like, whoa, no freaking way! Uh, I just could not believe uh, that he's running a Scarf Braylon, but it's actually quite effective. Um, and so anyway, he goes ahead and switches in heat, his heat tram. Uh, I'm still asleep, but I am stubbornly refusing to switch out. I figure he's gonna set, uh, set up some rocks. I go ahead and go for the Volt Switch on the wake up, which is awesome. So that's gonna hit him pretty darn hard, considering it is specs. Um, and, you know, Heatran is, doesn't resist it or anything, does more than half, which is excellent. And so now, now I just gotta uh, predict who he's going, what he's gonna do. I go ahead and send in my Cosmic F, predicting him to set up Stealth Rocks, which he does. So that is quite excellent for me. Um, and I can go ahead and kill him with a Revenge, or um, go ahead and Rapid Spin away. Uh, he goes ahead and switches out, obviously, and sends out his um, Will Smith. Uh, his uh, Salamence, um, which is just an Intimidate Salamence. I unfortunately did not predict that, or I rather didn't want to overpredict. So I go for the Revenge, um, which I think is boosted, not 100% positive. I guess, no, it's not boosted because I didn't take damage this turn. Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead... Oh, I, why don't I Rapid Spin? I thought I Rapid Spin. Oh well. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and send out Jirachi, predicting the uh, Outrage or the Draco Meteor. Um, and instead, he predicts my switch and goes for a sub, so I really wish I'd uh, taken the opportunity to rapid spin, but oh well. So now, uh, the Jirachi no longer runs Doom Desire, it runs just the boring old, um, begins with an F, uh, Flash Cannon, uh, for its special move. Anyway, this is a special Salamence, uh, runs the Fire Blast, and, uh, it's going to hit me pretty darn hard, I think. Yeah, uh, gets me down to about half health, and he gets the burn hacks, and that's just lame. So I go ahead and calm mind here, uh, thinking that now at this point, Fire Blast uh, isn't going to be able to KO me since I'm now at plus defenses, uh, and yeah, I'm, I guess I'm kind of wasting time. I really should be investing in the opportunity of breaking a sub. Um, I'm going to go ahead and recover a bit more health uh, with leftovers, and uh, just going to take some more damage due to burn, and I guess I should probably wish up... Oh, no! This is... Doom Desire, okay, yeah, sorry, I need to explain, folks, this is this battle is before I replaced Doom Desire, uh, sorry to mislead you, oh well. Anyway, he goes ahead and Dragon Tails me, I'm like, what the hell? This Salamence is running a Dragonite set, and I just think that's the most hilarious thing ever. So anyway, he goes ahead and drags my Hoover out, um, my HC, my formerly known as HCHB, my Caracosta, and anyway, he's gonna, um, I'm predicting he's just gonna keep on Dragon, uh, tailing. And so I'm going to hopefully be able to break his uh, sub with a rock slide. Uh, yeah, and indeed, the fact that I went first really indicates to me that, uh, just as I thought that he's going to go for another Dragon Tail, the crit did not matter for breaking his sub. I mean, come on, this is an adamant... Uh, this is an adamant Caracosta uh, running max attack, and he's weak to it. So anyway, um, got swapped out here, Jirachi comes back out, uh, and so... Now I wonder if I get some calm minds up, because if I do, then I might actually have an opportunity to um, do so before... Oh, I guess probably the Draco Meteor is going to hit this turn? I don't know, I've lost count. Anyway, if I, not Draco Meteor, I'm sorry, Doom Desire, but if I get out of a calm mind, then actually the Doom Desire might actually do something. Um, yeah, so I think he's actually going to take me out at this point, which is sad. Um, too bad there. So Jirachi is going to be taken out uh, by that Fire Blast. Uh, I'm lucky that he didn't set up another sub. And so here comes the Doom Desire, but it's not, you know, plus anything, so it's not going to do very much. And that's really too bad. Yeah, I mean... Okay, actually, that did a... Whoa, that did a lot more than I was expecting. Okay, so Doom Desire, not the most worthless move in the world, but, you know, really Flash Cannon is better bang for your buck. So anyway, on the free switch, I'm going to go ahead and send out Puff my Magic Dragonite. going to go ahead, even though my Marble Scale, sorry, Multi Scale is broken, uh, I don't care. I'm just going to go ahead and go for the E-Speed uh, just to take out his Salamence um, before I can Dragon Tail or whatnot again. So anyway, that's awesome. 
Uh, and now he's going to go ahead and send out his Scarf Breloom here. So consider, uh, he's going to go ahead and Stone Edge me. I luckily avoid that attack. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Fire Punch. I actually was hoping that he'd spore me because I'd carry the Lumberry. Anyway, Fire Punch, quite obviously going to KO. Um, good night, good night, good night. Anyway, um... Hey, well, uh, I'm curious what you guys think of the music. It's Mozart, and I actually thought it was paired really well with this battle. Anyway, he doesn't know that I have a Lumber at this point, although he should have suspected considering the fact that um, I haven't been getting leftover recovery. Uh, but anyway, and I also swapped up my moves, uh, so I'm not banded or anything. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and, you know, he wasted a turn uh, trying to paralyze me. I'm going to go ahead and go for the Dragon Claw, which I really hope is going to take him out, but it doesn't, but it is going to get him down low enough that an Extreme Speed will KO on the, on the next turn. So yeah, I just go for the Extreme Speed, um, figuring that, you know, he wasn't going to switch out that low health. Uh, and I do manage to take him out, so that's really, really nice. So this battle is going quite well in my favor. He's gonna go ahead and send out. Uh, he's gonna go ahead and send out Heatran, um, and I really don't have anything to do against this Heatran. He's gonna go ahead and explode. Yeah, I mean, running Fire Punch instead of Earthquake. Uh, that's the sacrifice you gotta make. Anyway, he goes for the explosion here, um, thinking that this was fourth gen before Explosion's power got nerfed. And as you're gonna see, it doesn't take out my Dragonite. I was thinking he used Dragon Claw, but no target, oh well. Um, anyway, he's going to go ahead now and send out his Azumarill, which obviously runs the Aqua Jet, um, but it's interesting that he did, decided not to go for it this turn. So anyway, I go for the Dragon Claw, uh, just to see how much damage does, uh, and he goes ahead and goes for Work Up, which, um, interesting move, I would have gone for the Aqua Jet. Um, and you're about to see why, so basically, yeah, I mean... Uh, so, work up only boosts your attack by one level, so that boosts it to up to 150%. So that means that you would have been, he would have been better off going with two Aqua Jets in a row, uh, rather than, uh, work up plus Aqua Jet. Because I am gonna manage to take him out on the next turn with another Dragon Claw. No, no, I think he survives. Yeah, he survives, but that's okay because I've got the, um, extreme speed. But anyway, I survived with 4 HP, so he really would have been better off had he used two, um, he had to use uh, two Aqua Jets, my uh, Dragonite would be dead right now. Anyway, he goes ahead and sends out his Latios here, uh, as I go for the Extreme Speed, and I don't think I'm going to outspeed um, enough to get a, off a Dragon Claw. Anyway, yeah, he carries the Flame Orb, which is really, really interesting. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and go for the another Extreme Speed here, because I realize that with burn damage, it's probably going to take him out. So that's going to be awesome. So anyway, he goes ahead and T-bolts me here. Obviously, he's going to take out my Dragonite. But, you know, Puff, you did a really great job this battle. Very, very impressed. And Burn is going to kill his Latias. And that's great because I was wondering how I was going to kill this guy. Um, Latias is a huge threat after all. Anyway, so now he's down to his Azumarill, uh, which has no HP to speak of. I'm going to go ahead and send out my Jufro. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and Giga Drain. I, I don't think he's going to be able to take me out with an Aqua Jet. Um, and I should be able to outspeed him if he was going to go for like an Ice Punch or something. Anyway, Aqua Jet, yeah, doesn't do very much damage at all. I'm going to go for the Giga Drain. And um, his Azumarill is going to go down. So that was an excellent battle, uh, Civixi. Uh, feel if you're watching this, feel free to challenge me again. Um, and you know, I, I got a lot. I love Gen Five. I love OU, um, and I love this team too. So anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed that battle as much as I did, folks. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.